Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. And after the advent of artificial intelligence in different industries, we are listening that humans are going to be replaced by AI tools in different sectors, right? And specific to IT industry, we are listening that software de developers or automation testers are going to be replaced by these artificial intelligent tools, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss what are those tasks which AI also cannot do for those tasks humans are still required or automation testers are still required. Okay, so before we begin, hi, my name is Amit Tripathi and I have more than nine years of working experience in IT industry and automation testing and I make videos on career, artificial intelligent tools and automation testing. So if you haven't subscribed my channel, please make sure to subscribe channel because it requires a lot of efforts to bring such videos and believe me i mean as a budding youtuber it takes a lot to uh, present all of these information to you all so if you haven't subscribed and you are visiting my channel for the first time please make sure to subscribe the channel okay so let's understand why ai will not replace automation testers okay so let's understand that you are an automation tester right and this is one software company in which you are working so now see for automation tester or software companies and currently if software company want to transition to ai tools or they wanted to work with ai tools right so they wanted to transition with the help of ai tools but you see why they wanted to do this why do they want to switch to AI tools because they wanted their processes to be efficient, right? They want very efficient processes where they are going to optimize their time, they are optimize their processes and all those things. And with that optimization, it is going to give them growth and eventually they will be able to bring products into the market very fast, very quickly. So if they are going to bring the products into the market very fast, that is going to be the win-win for them, right? because company wanted to launch products or fix their bugs or release the any new feature into the market as fast as they want right so for those reasons they wanted to use these ai tools and who is going to do help in the this transitioning it is going to be you either uh, you know uh, automation testers or any software developer who is working on any certain task or uh, you know coding part or anything right so now let's understand what are different tasks which still you will be doing in order to uh, bring this change okay so first of all you need uh, to be or uh, business need ai tool expert if they wanted to switch or transition into any particular ai tools they want any person who is very well aware about the process as well as to the tools which uh, they are going to use so if any person who is working in the company they learn ai tools that is going to be helpful for them second is process improvements why because ai tools will be working on different things and they are going to suggest what are be, uh, based on their pre previous you know results trends they are going to recognize the patterns of the issues right and based on that humans will be able to focus more upon the process related things and process improvements how they can improve the processes so that uh, they can deliver the things even much faster third thing could be code customization why customization remember those days when you wanted to create any particular website so you need to write the code for that now after template based website creation sites are there maybe you know wix or any these kind of uh, websites came into the picture code customization uh, you know somewhat got reduced but still we see there are people there are companies which are uh, working with scratch or they are creating websites from scratch right so although template based websites are still there existing a code customization is still required so that's where you know code customization will always be required for automation testers also now next is requiremental analysis we are living in the world where things are changing very fast and so the requirements are 
and if requirements are changing there should be some person who is going to tell this requirement understand this requirement and tell this to the ai tools that this and this requirements are there and based on this you generate the output or analyze this re uh, requirement and based on that i want something uh, in return right so requirement analysis and understanding the requirement and customizing that requirement according to the client's need is still be required to be done by the humans next is analysis although ai tools are going to help analyze the things but still if there are things which are not getting picked by the ai tools or the whole process is working efficiently or not whether ai tools are giving you correct results or not whether results given by ai tools are as per your requirements or not so all those analysis need to be done by automation testers or the people who maybe you know uh, new roles will be coming into the market after this but uh, automation testers or testers or quality engineers will be still required for analyzing this whole process whether things are going in a right direction or not if not then what to do so that part will come into the process improvement and analysis part will be still required to be done by humans now next thing is monitoring everything is working fine even after uh, even after ai and ai tools are you know trained on huge data set of or huge data uh, volumes right and after everything is working fine we still be needing some person some human who is going to monitor this whole process whether that is working fine or not i can give you one example see after coming ci cd pipelines right so what ci cd pipelines do they do the deployment automatically so even uh, once code is uh, into the pipeline or code is checked in these pipelines will get triggered automatically at a certain uh, time and eventually this whole code will get compiled and eventually that is going to be deployed deployed to the live uh, uh, side right so but still we are seeing devops roles are there right so why these devops roles are there just to monitor things if things are going properly or not so we have automated the process but still there are people who are working on those automated process also so similarly there will be people who are required to monitor things now next is troubleshooting again things can go wrong things are working and uh, at the end ai is also a program right and if things may go wrong who is going to troubleshoot the person who is working on this whole process right so troubleshooting is the thing which is still be required to be done by humans so if anything go wrong any code is working wrong or any data something data which is not uh, not analyzed before or not seen before any unconditional thing or any condition which was not seen before and that came and eventually ai failed to uh, give the output for that so something failed who is going to work on that so human is going to work on that talk, that also last again decision making things are right or wrong ai has given you some output but still if things are working properly as per the requirement or not that is going to be done by the person who understands the process who understands the requirements who understands the business so if things are working fine or not or if they are working fine whether the things are in correct direction or not that decision making is is, is still with humans so any person who is working in this whole domain having knowledge on the process and the things which are working uh, you know uh, with the uh, software uh, development life cycle how things are working uh, with uh, respect to the client so all those things who the person who has better knowledge of the process of the things how to control things how to troubleshoot things how to monitor analyze requirement analysis code customization all of this if any person has then definitely that person is going to be an asset for any organization and why i'm saying so because artificial if any person is there who is currently working in their automation testing role the company would want 
that person to work on something which can bring AI into their product and how that person is going to work just to learn AI tools different AI tools are there in the market right now and if you are working to make yourself uh, you know better version of yourself by uh, learning AI tools or something then company are going to utilize your expertise to make the uh, you know transition they want into the AI tools so that uh, they can improve the process and improve the things so if you are working on automation testing and currently you are not using AI tools then make sure you are also exploring how and where I can utilize AI tool related potential in your current project that way you will make yourself recession proof you will make sure uh, you will be an asset and you will be uh, you know given respect also in your organization that was all in this video and please make sure to subscribe this channel because it takes a lot of uh, effort to bring this information and uh, for me uh, you know i'm very small youtuber who is trying to bring some change and help you all guys so please help me to uh, by subscribing this channel and share this information to your friends and if you think that there are something else in which AI cannot replace humans please make sure to drop a comment and that is going to give me insight as well and let's grow together and learn together. Amit Tripathi signing off.